Hey guys, welcome back to the gaming channel where we're not good gamers, we're just good people who play games. And today we are going to try out the long-awaited Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PS4 Pro. Now Red Dead Redemption 2 has been highly praised by the gaming community for its detailed graphics, immersive storyline and one of the biggest open world game we have ever encountered yet. For those who don't follow the Red Dead franchise, this game is a prequel of the previous Red Dead Redemption game. So fret not, you don't need to have any prior knowledge of the franchise to enjoy this game. Today we are going to share how we feel about the different aspects of the game. So firstly, let's talk about some background story before diving into the game. Red Dead Redemption first came out on May 2010 and it has gotten a lot of compliments and received a large number of awards due to the fact that it's an open world game similar to Grand Theft Auto but minus the cars and tall buildings. It is set in a western themed environment where there are cowboys, horses, gunslingers and bounty hunters. Now after 8 long years, we finally got our hands on another Red Dead Redemption game. And this game is set in 1899 and it follows the story of Arthur Morgan, an outlaw who is part of the Dutch Vanderlyn gang. Now after knowing about all this, let's look into the main storyline of the game. After the opening scenes of the game, Arthur and his gang sets out to do numerous heists in hopes of getting more money as the leader Dutch promises one last big heist that will secure their freedom. You will interact with countless of NPCs which further enhances the gaming experience. If you are looking for a game with rich story to dive in, this game will definitely give you dozens of hours. While playing the game, you will encounter situations where you will need to decide whether to help someone or not. These decisions do add up and change the way you play the game moving forward. So these are the gameplay mechanics. So there is an honor system in the game whereby if you do good, such as helping citizens that are stranded or beaten up, your honor will go up. Go. But if you steal, murder innocent lives, rob shops, your honor will drop. With different level of honor, you will be treated differently in the game. So in hindsight, if you do good, you'll be treated good. But if you do bad, you'll be treated bad. Another mechanic to look out for is the fast travel. In such a big open world game, there's bound to be fast travel system, right? Well, Red Dead Redemption 2 takes on a different approach to fast travel as they want players to be fully immersed into the horse riding gameplay. They don't tell you how to fast travel, but fret not, we are here to help you with that. When you have progressed about halfway through chapter 2, you will unlock the ledger which is just beside the donation box in your camp. Over there, just upgrade Dutch 10 twice and you will be able to fast travel. But do be careful, the fast travel only works one way. So if you use it to go to a town on the other side of the map, you will need to either ride your horse, hire a stagecoach, or take a train to get back. Your character facial hair also grows as you play the game, and you have the option to keep the beard or shave it as and when you want. You can also select various types of outfit for Arthur and note that when traveling to cold weather areas, you have to wear the appropriate clothing or your health course will drop significantly faster. There are different breeds of horses in the game and they have different stats ranging from speed, acceleration and handling. If you keep using the same horse, it will increase your bonding level which increases their health and stamina. As the bonding level increases, you will also unlock certain moves and tricks that you can do with your horse. One cool feature that Red Dead Redemption 2 has is the cinematic mode. It allows you to let the game control your horse while moving from point to point. You can change different angles while doing so and you know what's the best thing about this? Let me show you. The combat system in the game is similar to GTA whereby you can open up your inventory wheel and choose to use whichever equipment or weapons you need. There are different types of weapons in the game like a revolver, pistol, carbine rifle or also known as the repeater, longbow and shotgun. There are also different grades within each category of weapons so do keep a lookout for finding the strongest weapon of your choice. As you use your guns, they'll start to wear down and get dirty. It takes quite a while before you will notice it but when this happens, the weapon stats will start to drop. You will have to clean it using a gun oils which can be found by looting dead bodies or buying it from the shop. After every fight, there will be dead bodies lying around and to check if you have looted all of them, you just have to see the mini map, the X shows dead bodies and if it's bold, that means you have not looted it yet. 
So do make sure you have the loot everything mentality to not miss out on any items or money. Now Deadeye is a signature feature among the Red Dead franchise. It allows you to slow down time and aim at enemies for easy kills. In Red Dead Redemption 2, the more you use Deadeye, it will level up and you will eventually use Deadeye to show the weak points of enemies and animals, which is very useful for hunting. So overall, to wrap things up, I feel that Red Dead Redemption 2 is a must-get game if you love games with deep storylines. You would definitely be spending hundreds of hours exploring this vast open world, learning about each character and discovering new side quests for Arthur. And also not to forget the hilarious moments where you ride your horse straight into a tree or having cinematic mode crash your horse into another person. Honestly, there are too many things to cover for Red Dead Redemption 2. What we have touched here today is just the surface of the game. Once you dive deeper into the game, there are a lot more puzzles in the game to be solved, weapons to customize, and add various attachments to power up the guns and exciting mini-games to play with. Shit. Well, gentlemen, time to move along. Aw, oh, hell. You're one lucky son of a bitch, you know that? In my opinion, Red Dead Redemption 2 is definitely worth your buck and I will be playing more of it so let me know if you guys would like to see more Red Dead Redemption 2 content in the comment section below. And in the meantime, bye guys! Whoa! Settle down! <laughs> okay! What are you doing here?